chances are you will never be called upon to save someone's life using CPR. But did you know that most cardiac arrests happen in the home? According to the CDC, nine in 10 people who suffer from cardiac arrest outside of a hospital don't survive. But administering CPR, especially during the first few minutes, can double or even triple a person's chance of survival. One of the most important things to do is to learn. Anybody can do it. It doesn't take much, and it can be modified, and any, any help that you can provide could possibly save a life. CPR helped save the life of John Lowe. Thank God you were there. Oh. Two years ago, while riding a bike through Greensboro's Country Park, John was stung by a bee in the lip and went into anaphylactic shock. Lucky for him, Cindy Barber, a CPR instructor at the YMCA, discovered he wasn't breathing and didn't have a heartbeat. She performed CPR until paramedics arrived. Cindy saw me crash and came right down and did what she did. I'll be forever. Oh, you're making me cry. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm so grateful that she was trained in that and that she was there. And um, it's a testament to the fact that everybody should know how to do this stuff. Stay clear of patient. In appreciation to the why, John Lowe made a donation to purchase new mannequins and provide free CPR classes like this one. Shock advised. June is CPR Safety Awareness Month, but CPR instructor Amy Alverson says anyone can help save a life. If you're not trained, you don't. You, if you call 911, they'll help you and walk you through the steps. The CDC reports more than 350,000 cardiac arrests happen outside of hospitals each year. CPR is key to survival. It's just a great skill to know. You never know when you, you would need it. Ain't that it the truth? It'd be bad to not know when you do need it, so this is just in case I do. Contact your local YMCA or the Red Cross. In many cases, you can find the class for free. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.